Today, court documents reveal new details about seven-year-old Troy Kohler. His body was found inside a washing machine at his spring home back in July. His adoptive parents, Jemaine and Tiffany Thomas, now charged in connection with his death. The complainant's death was ruled a homicide due to homicidal violence. The autopsy found the complainant had suffered from asphyxiation, possible drowning. The complainant suffered both remote and new blunt force trauma that was indicative of inflicted trauma. Jemaine is charged with capital murder and Tiffany is charged with injury to a child by omission. Troy was reported missing on Thursday, July 28. But investigators say the child never left his home. Officials have surveillance video of Troy playing hide and seek by himself in the front yard the day before he was murdered. We spoke to Jermaine Thomas back in July, who says Troy was not inside the home when he got off work. Came home, just like I'm from the walking door right now. I'm from, I don't have my keys, but I put my key in the door and then the door opened. But anything else after that, I don't know. Investigators also reviewed text messages from the couple's cell phone that describe how they were going to kill the little boy because he ate their snacks. As she, quote, threatened to put him in the stove and turn it on, end quote. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.